to my channel, Score Bunny Hearts. If you're new here, I'm Joni. And if you're a returning viewer, hi again. Welcome back. It's been a while. So, about a month ago, I rewatched Sofia Coppola's 2006 film, Marie Antoinette. I think this is my favorite Sofia Coppola movie. It's so pretty, it's so gorgeous. It's a very emotional based film, very feminine gaze. You also get to see Kirsten Dunst be all like gorgeously depressed, like she's in a Lana Del Rey video. Oh, he just like me. He just like me for real. Although this movie has been like highly romanticized, like I'm sure Marie Antoinette wasn't like that, and it is a very emotional based film, I do love it so much. Like come on, Versailles architecture, the Rococo designs, and like the fact that it's won an Oscar for its costume designs, like ah! <laughs> I love this movie so much. I threw a Marie Antoinette inspired birthday party. So here's a story of how I planned and threw the best birthday party, in my opinion with a booty ass theme and a broke ass budget. <laughs> Part one, the plan. I needed to plan a party so good, it ended the French monarchy. I headed off to Facebook and put up the events tab and invited my best homies. I put the date, I put the time, and all the other details. Now, I decided to have a tea party. There are three very specific reasons why I chose to do this, and they are, one, I drink more tea than I do water. Well, they always say 60% of the body is actually water. Wrong. 60% of my body is a jasmine green tea. Hence, tea party. And two, you might be wondering like, why the afternoon? Well, tea time's in the afternoon, and ever since I crawled back home in freshman year, after K-pop night, and drinking a whole bottle of soju by myself, because I didn't know you had to share it, <laughs> I just stopped going to events that start at 10 p.m. and like, end at the crack of dawn. So, afternoon. <laughs> I gotta get my Z's. And finally, number three. In the movie, Marie Antoinette and her little French girl gang, they all get together, they have tea, they have cake, and they dress up in like cute cottagecore outfits. And that was the vibe I was trying to get. In real life, Marie was like super into cosplaying as like a peasant girl. And she literally hired an architect to build her a whole peasant village. Marie Antoinette was probably credited as like the OG cottagecore queen. In her little peasant village, she dressed up, she was milking cows and like doing little peasant girl things, playing house, hosting parties, and bringing her friends and her children in. Well, minus the fake peasant village, I think I can pull together like a cute tea party with us all girlies dressing all cute and cottagecore. For activities, I'm going to teach my friends how to make pearl chokers. Although in the movie, Kirsten Dunst wears a lot of ribbons. But in real life, Marie actually wore a lot of pearls. And most of the time she didn't wear them as like necklaces. There were like earrings, there were like head jewelry, there were like crowns and everything. Like pearls were everywhere. Especially because like the Vivian Westwood choker is like making the rounds on TikTok. So I was like, okay, you know what? It'll be a cute party favorite for the girlies and the gays. So now that I have the plan in mind and a deadline, I'm motivated to do something. So here comes part two, the funnest part. <laughs> Shopping. When I found my mom, I could finally get cake. Problem is, which cake? This one, I already have the crown, but it is very pretty. Luckily, my mom had some ideas. Fuck the mom. This one isn't too bad. Uh, but alas, as much as I love the little electric rat, like a literal fire bunny as my channel name, 
I had a theme to uphold, and it was Marie Antoinette today. So in the end, I opted for this pick and mix cake. This one's also quite nice. Probably the safer option, since in case the cake was bad, at least they still have those little candy toppings that my guests can eat off. In the movie, Marie is almost never seen without flowers. Like when she comes to the Versailles, when she comes to her petit piano and her cottagecore village. So clearly we gotta pick out flowers. I mean, yeah, there were like some questionable flowers, but in the end we picked out this. Now with all the cakes and the cookies and the flowers all picked out, it was time for part three, decorating. As a fabulous professional interior designer with like zero training, me and my mom got to work transforming our living room into a tea room fit for a queen. Even though we were on the inside, we had to make it look like it was outside. Cause keep in mind, cottagecore, cute, pastels, that was a vibe. We sucked some fake butterflies and those leaves those TikTokers love so much. And soon it was my birthday. Hey, before we move on, if you're liking what I have to say and you think I'm entertaining, then please give this video a thumbs up and put a little comment telling me what's good. This lets me know that I'm on the right track and I thrive on validation. This channel might be small, but I got ideas and you guys help me. Anyway, be a hot person, click like, subscribe. Okay, anyway, back to the show. So part four, the calm before the birthday store. Obviously, since it was my special day, I had to look drop dead gorgeous. Or should I say, chop head gorgeous. <laughs> okay, anyway, moving on. I decided to use my old purple high school dress from prom that I wore once. Okay, so this is like me editing. Um, I was trying to find pictures of me at prom but the weird thing is, I don't have any pictures of me, like, just me alone. Like, they're all pictures with people. Not that I don't like the people next to me, but it's just like, why was I, why did I not have any pictures of me just serving looks? Like, I was serving, even though, like, I wasn't, like, mentally met in the best place that time. But still, I look good. And I didn't, well, you know what? It's okay, I, I don't, I don't want to remember high school anyway, it's cool. <laughs> For my birthday party, I will improve on it. This time, I'm going to take a few notes from the French and put my hair up high. And this is how it went. Party time. <laughs> I love the meat cake. That's such nonsense. I would never say that. She's delightful. She looks like a little piece of cake. And we're done. And that was how I threw the most baller party I had in years. Thank you to all the besties who came. You guys made my day so fun, so special. Y'all are the best. Like, I'm so grateful that I have like such cool and amazing friends in my life and like surrounding myself with good energy and geez, like y'all got me feeling so cheesy. Anyway, I'm so glad I planned everything in advance because I was so scared it was gonna suck. Like my last party that I planned. Geez, let's get into a little story time. 
in my teenage years, I don't think I've thrown a good birthday party. The last birthday party I had was at like this nearby hotel in Hong Kong. Like it was super awkward because, well, I didn't have a lot of good friends. Like of course, I invited my like best buddy, of course. Let me explain high school friendship dynamics to me. Like you know how sometimes like you just, in high school, you hang out with people solely because they're in your friend group, but you're like not necessarily as close to them. So basically, I invited friends of my friends, so the party was awkward as hell. Like honestly, looking back, like it's so stupid, but like why didn't I invite people I was just comfortable around with? Like why did I do that? Like honestly, I should've just like planned a fun day out at a mall. Like that would be so much more fun than like sitting in a stuffy hotel with like dozens of people I'm just like acquainted to. Gosh, that was weird. That was such a weird time in my life. So bizarre. And I don't have any photos of that party. And I'm grateful for that. I don't want to remember that. <laughs> This tea party was not like that at all. Like it was great for me. There were no silent moments. Basically this party was just a bunch of hot people doing hot people things, partying like it was 1770, before the French Revolution. And they chopped everyone's head off. Like I guess there were like some few things I would change, probably like getting more chairs, making an easier craft activity because turns out making beaded necklaces, like it was more chaotic than I thought. And I don't think I got enough footage. I do want more photos of this memory because it was, this is a good party and I loved it. My friends are cool. I had so much fun. I'm so glad that this year I decided to surround myself with people with good energy, who make me laugh, have great fashion sense. So girl boss of me. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do like this video, click a like, subscribe, or comment. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.